Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create one amazing loading animation inside of After Effects without using any third-party plugin, but with the help of simple and cool technique. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects as always. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as main animation. As always, I have written something wrong. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 seconds, background color is white. Simply hit OK. Choose grid and guide option, titles affection, press Ctrl Y to create a solid background. I will call it as BG. BG color is white and simply hit OK. Lock this layer. Now we will choose our ellipse tool, we don't need any fill, the only thing we need to care about over here is the stroke, so stroke width I will choose around 40 and by holding shift create one stroke, press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center, go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it, uh, align it vertically, sorry for mispronunciation, go to the add menu, we will choose trim path, go to the trim path, let's make it 50, very good. Offset, I'll choose 90. Very good. So, basic thing is done. What I'll do, I'll increase the stroke with around 80, let's say. And now we will go to the ellipse one. We'll go to the stroke one. Line cap, but cap, we will choose round cap. Yeah. Select this one. Press S for scaling option. We'll move it over here. V. And we will move this thing over let's say over here oh we can align it sorry i forgot that hit ctrl d and i'll move this thing over here just like this now we will choose our ellipse tool now this time i don't need any stroke so i'll delete the stroke the only thing i care about over here is this fill i'll create one ellipse over here Select this ellipse, press Ctrl Alt Hope to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically initially. Press S for scaling option and scale it according to you. Just like this. Now go inside the shape layer. Go to the content. As we can see, we have ellipse over here. Now select this ellipse and hit Ctrl D on this ellipse. Now we have two ellipse over here. We'll go to the ellipse. We don't need any fill, so I'll hide this fill. We will choose select the stroke. We'll go over here and again we will choose black stroke. We don't need... I think we should decrease the stroke width. Now this, go to the ellipse one. And we will increase the size somewhere around like this. Decrease the stroke width like this. Decrease the scale. Yeah, this looks good to me. So now we have ellipse 1 over here, which is our stroke. And we have ellipse 1, which is our fill. Yeah, this looks good to me. Now what we will do, initially press V. And we will move this thing over here. Like this. Now select this layer, hit enter, let's call it as 1. Select the second layer, hit enter, let's call it as 2. Select this one, let's call it as ball. Yeah, there we go. Now, initially, I'll select this layer, press R for rotation, create one keyframe. Hit U to see that keyframe. Around one second, I'll make the, let's say, 180. Select those keyframes, hit F9. Move this ball over here make it apparent with this ball i mean what now select those keyframe hit f9 by holding shift i'll adjust this handle over here and this one over here let's see how does it looks yeah and at this point i'll select this ball press ctrl shift d and i'll unlink this parenting Press P for position, create one keyframe over here, around 2 seconds. I'll move this thing over here, like this. Select those key, 
not now but go few frame forwards again create one keyframe and over here in middle of these two keyframes I will move this over here like this select those keyframes and hit F9 go to the graph editor I will select this graph by holding shift I will move it over here let's move this thing over here select this handle and drag it over here zoom in a little bit select this handle by holding shift I will drag it over here and this one over here like this go to the graph editor zoom in little bit zoom out little bit select those keyframes and just move it over here let's see how does it looks like this yeah this looks good to me now right click create new null object make sure that this is at the center now select this one and make it apparent with this null one select this null press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u and at this point what i'll do are from here to here i'll make it complete one rotation let's say 180 around over here select those keyframe hit f9 press p also to create position and hit u like this Yeah, this looks good to me now let's press ctrl r and we need to create some guidance over here so i drag this thing over here around this again i'll drag this one thing over here like this now we will create another null object and we will hit enter and we will call it as main parent and out of all of them those who are not parent with anyone select all of them and make it a parent with this main parent now select this null one hit u at this point i'll create one keyframe on this main parent create one keyframe and at this position we will move it over here and i'll select this null one as you know we have created one keyframe on the position and we will move it over here and make sure it should be aligned with this ruler like this now select those keyframe hit f9 go like this and you can adjust the graph of them by holding shift just like this you can simply And at this point hit N and if I hit play you'll get this kind of looping stuff just like this or you can move it a little bit forward and then you can play now select all of them and make sure that you are selecting this option which is a motion blur so we will get a little bit motion blur in our animation so yep this is our final animation which is in our loop now as always if you want to change the color select one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and simply apply tint effect on it and simply you can swap these colors the way you want so yep this is our final simple looping animation and loading animation you can see So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you want to watch After Effects tutorials in Hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called AG Animations. Link will be available in the description. Until then stay tuned.